Elder Scrolls Skyrim just released on a couple weeks ago, 11-11, and it is amazing. Straight up, like, it's, it's pretty impressive. I'm thoroughly impressed. It's one game of the month so far. We're pretty sure it's going for game of the year. Just a little more time, though. And I'm looking forward to all the DLCs and different things that you're going to have in the future. Right now, I'm really impressed with how it's an open world, but at the same time, it's not too big. And it has a main story, which is very, very exciting and has a point to it. Uh, personally, I, I think... Uh the leveling system is is really good because you need to like really build the right like kind of stats otherwise kind of kind of bone a little bit so you need to know what you're doing yeah you, you need to kind of decide like how you want to play the game yeah fairly early on otherwise you run into some some trouble and like Dave said in the beginning of the game there's a bunch of different like types of characters you can be different and they all have their different weaknesses and strengths and it's obviously t it's not custom tailored to everyone in the world but at least it, you can choose what what you want because in other games you're just set and you have to go play. In this game you can create your own person. <laughs> Alright, uh, the the world is, like, like Tony said, it's it's pretty big. Like, and like the landscape is it's beautiful. Like it's it really looks really nice. The graphics are really, really good. And especially if you run it off a PC because graphics are just dumb. It makes the game. It honestly does. And the thing is that everything in the world is almost everything in the world is interactive. Landscapes are just brilliantly made. Yes, they're very brilliant. All right, so we're gonna be showing you a little clip from Skyrim. It's a battle in a dungeon with uh, Draugr, which is something that's new to Skyrim, and it uh, also features the new uh, shout move. So yeah. Who's There, uh, another cool thing that I think is that there are a lot of uh, random occurrences, so the game constantly, you know, gives you stuff to do. You're never like, oh, well, you know, what am I supposed to do now? You constantly have quests and stuff coming in. It's about 500 hours worth of side quests, and it's well worth it. It's really good, and you can earn a bunch of cool things by doing it. It's, it's really not like other games, because in this game, you, you don't get bored from it, really. There's always something to do. It's just not like, it's not like you've beaten a campaign or something, and you're going to have to go to multiple. Oh, no, no, not here. You have to keep doing other quests. Yeah, but there, I mean, like I said, there's always stuff kind of floating in, like, you'll just be walking around, then the next thing you know, boom, you got a quest. You know, um... Uh, you can really tell that Bethesda uh, put a lot of work into this yeah. new Elder Scrolls game. Yeah. 
So uh, I'm, I'm here with uh, Nick Babcock. Uh, Nick, would you say that you that you like RPG games? Yeah, I like RPG games. You like RPG games. Have you have you gotten Skyrim? Yeah, I got it a couple days after it came out. What would you say is the best thing about Skyrim? How it's a big open world game. You can go anywhere and do anything at any time. So I love that. Uh, is there anything that you just like about Skyrim? Uh, there's a lot of glitches in it when it comes to like, open gameplay, so I don't really like that. But... Do you do that if you play it on a console? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that might be it. Battlefield 3 had a very similar issue. Uh, if you could change anything about Skyrim, what would you change? Um, all the glitches, definitely. Skyrim's them so it's like a lot smoother play. In the future, probably in, in later. Uh, yeah, patches. Sort of. Alright, thanks, man. Thank you.